Hey everyone, welcome back to another Fortnite Save the World video. The new season just started, season 20, and we have a lot to talk about. We got a new venture season, Scurvy Shoals, the Pirate season. One of my favorite seasons. For lots of reasons to be honest. But some people maybe hate it for some of these reasons. Let me explain. First, the pirate chests or the super treasures. You get a lot of them from eliminating husk. They give you ton of loot, weapons, and the required materials for the vending machines. You can pick any weapons you like from these machines without worrying about if you have the required materials or not, since you will have a lot always. The weapons are random of course, but you can get some good weapons. Not all kinds of crafting materials I know, but the thing is, you get a lot of weapons. And you can recycle all of them for ton of mats. Like mechanical parts, twine, the materials for the vending machines like sunbeam, and etc which helps a lot to craft traps. Plus you get a lot of crystals too. You will be able to craft as much tar pits, anti-air traps, freeze traps, as much as you like. We all know how hard it is to farm these crystals. And the last thing from these chests is the cannonballs. Unfortunately, you can only carry 8 at one time. But still, 8 is not bad, since you can easily use them and get more. It may be annoying for other stuff like the coconuts, but you will be using the cannonballs all the time. But of course, all of that comes with a cost, as described here, the husk have increased health. And you can knock them back easily with any weapons. Like as you see here, you can knock back a smasher to stop it from destroying your build. Very simple and funny. I don't see that increased health that hard to deal with. You still can eliminate all the husk easily with your hero's abilities, and you got other modifiers which will help a lot. I will mention them in a moment. And at the end of the day, you will get a lot of weapons and materials from the chests, which will allow you to craft a lot of traps easily. You see why I love this season? Not like the other zones, where you need to farm a lot every few missions. As I remember, last time we got this zone, I partly got any issues with loot. I only farmed for building materials like brick and metal. Other thing that I like a lot, but a lot of people hate, is the terrain. As you see in this clip, the terrain is a bit complicated, and you need to go up and down a lot. And it's a bit annoying for some missions like repair the shelter, it will take more time to locate all the sea bots. But why I like it? The main reason is the spawn location of the missions. Like where Lars fan or the shelters spawn. A lot of times they will spawn on top of a hill or at a high spot with ramps to reach it. Very easy to defend and trap. Not just inside the middle of an open area which requires to defend all the for directions. Like I just played a mission where the van has only one way to reach. I only used 3 drop traps and finished the mission easily. I hope that I explained this point right. So, why a lot of people hate it. As I mentioned, it's a bit annoying to move and finish some missions. Plus sometimes the spawn location is very bad. Like the shelter can spawn on a low level area, so the husk can come from above, which is a bit harder to defend. But it doesn't happen a lot, even you can finish the whole season without seeing one. The last thing about this season is the hero's modifiers. Every hero has his own modifiers in some missions. Mostly the missions with alerts only. Like this one, constructors deal more damage, ninjas deal more damage, soldiers with headshots, abilities deal more damage. I didn't manage to see all of them yet, every zone I unlock, I find another one. But they are easy to understand. I will try to cover them with the hero's loadouts videos. Most of them will be like the last season, but I will cover them as usual as much I can. So, overall, it's a fun season to play, and you can finish it faster than the others. I don't know is it just me or not, but every time I play this venture zone, I finish it way faster than the others. Mostly because of the easy loot we get. Note that all of this information is based only about my observation, we didn't get a home base report yet, only survived the horde one. So, if I missed something, please let me know in the comments. The rewards are the same as every season. If you want to know all of them, and how to level up fast in ventures, check this video. Enough talking about ventures, and let's see what else we got this season. Yar questline is back. After finishing it you will get Jack's revenge pistol, copper corsair sword, and blackbeard hero. He is a mythic hero, his team perk is, blackbeard stock. I saw a lot of people asking about it, when they see a lot of chests on the ground, and they can't open it, and they don't know what that is. These chests only for the person who is using this team perk very useful at some missions. Like hit the road for example. It gives you coconuts, cannonballs, and peg legs. Peg legs are melee weapons. Very good for some missions. 
especially for missions where you can't have access to your weapons, it will be a good choice. Let me know in the comments if you are interested about a loadout for it. Pirate Llamas are back, and Survive the Horde is back. This time, they changed a lot of things for this mode. Like as you see right now, it has 5 levels of difficulty. You need to finish each one to get access to the next. We got some new rewards, like a spray, and banners. And it has other challenges as usual, which gives tickets, gold, and battle royale XP. And I think this storm surge is new too. If you don't know what Survive the Horde is, here's a quick recap. It's like a mix between Frost Knight and Endurance. You need to defend some objects for certain number of waves. You don't have access to your main inventory items, but you have access to all your schematics. Just like Frost Knight. All your bonuses are applied like as you see here. This screenshot is from my loadout after I joined the mission. So, this will help a lot. The main source of loot is supply drops. Not like Ventures and Frost Knight where you need to farm by yourself. I'm not expert in this mode to be honest, I didn't play it that much last year. Since it was closer to endurance and it was easy. I will check it this season, and if a lot of you are interested, I will try to cover it as well. For the event shop. A hero loadout slot as usual. Costs 10k gold, so buy it only if you have much. If not, save some gold. Because we will get a lot of good heroes this season. Rabbit Raider Jonesy is one of them I think. Miss Bunny Penny. Her team perk is not that amazing right now, barely no one uses her. But as I always say, get a copy for every hero if you can. Maybe in the future we will need it for a new content or new mission type. Or with some new heroes, who knows. Again, only if you can, if don't have that much gold, don't spend all your only on this loadout slot. Electric Pulse Penny. A very very good hero in my opinion. Her perk looks not that fancy, but believe me. I use her a lot almost for all my daily V-Bucks missions, any low-level mission, and some Ventures missions. I made a video about her in Thunder Thora, you can check it here. This video will explain everything you need to know about both of them. And as usual, a legendary survivor, 100 armory slot, and some weapons. Not a fan for both of them, there are a lot of other good options you can use. But you can buy them for the collection box. For the weekly challenges, we got a trap supercharger this week. This season ends June 19th. That's everything I saw in the new season. If I missed something, let me know in the comments. And that's it for this video. Don't forget to use code LARSIS in the item shop if you want to support me, helps me a lot. Like, subscribe if you are enjoying the content, helps the channel a lot. Big thanks for channel members, super thanks comments, and everyone using my code, really appreciate your support. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, see you in the next one.